GCK family, welcome. You know, today is going to be special because we are in the second to the last month of the year. And it's also the second day of the November edition of the Global Crusade with Kumui. Beloved, today the heavens are open and there's going to be an overflow of God's power and His presence in our lives. Yes, God is here and His Spirit is moving. Today the impossible and the seemingly difficult are going to be attained. And you know what? Picture this. A mighty waving ocean and an angry mob of soldiers and caught up in the middle of this are aimless groups of people led by a man who stammers and holds a rod. Yep. And I know what you are thinking, but guess what? The God who is present here today was there with them too. And he made a path in an ocean, not a river, not a pond, not a stream, a mighty ocean. And the Israelites walked safely and comfortably and easily on the dry land. And that same God, the God of Moses, is here today. So hallelujah, let's stir up our faith a little more. Let's come back to the story of uh, Jacob. It says in Genesis chapter 32, Genesis 32, and I'm reading from verse 24, and Jacob was left alone. And there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. Wrestling, wrestling, wrestling until the breaking of the day. And then in verse 25, and when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh. And the hollow of, his, of Jacob's thigh was out of joint as he wrestled with him. Wrestling, you know, there are people they wrestle and wrestle in prayer, but the blessing has not come, and they are happy to say, You know, I can stay there for six hours and wrestle in prayer. Well, that's good, but you know what you need beyond that wrestling is faith the faith that takes, the faith that touches, the faith that transforms. The faith that empowers and the faith that transfigures you. Wrestling, wrestling, wrestling is not enough. It's the power of faith to walk in your life. You know, some people say, I pray for five days for salvation and I wrestle and wrestle. Maybe that's all right, but are you saved? Being saved is what's important. And salvation is very simple. You don't have to go five days, seven days, and 14 days before salvation comes. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Right here, right there, instantaneous salvation will come to you in Jesus' name. And then it says... The hollow of the tie went out of joint as the wrestle with him. Look at verse 26. In verse 26, and he said, Let me go. That's where some people stop after they have wrestled and wrestled and wrestled. No salvation, no healing. They just sweat and sweat and sweat in praying. Let me go. They said, Okay, I'll, I'll come back tomorrow. You are not like that. Yes, let me go for the day breaketh. And he said, I, Jacob, I, what's your name? I, what's your name? I, so and so, will not let you go. That blessing you brought from heaven, you must give me tonight. That blessing you brought from God, you must give me tonight. That miracle, that supernatural touch, and that transcending touch, and that transfiguring touch, and that change that comes from heaven, I must have it tonight. Let me go. No, you cannot go because you will not go except you bless me. Except you bless me. The Lord loves the people that know what they are looking for and they know they are going to get it and there's no shadow of doubt in their heart and they say tonight is my night I will have, you will have. I said you will have. And then in verse 27 it says and it said unto him was thy name well in the past your name sinner but now your name is going to change. He'll call you a sage. I said he'll call you a sage. You know some people, they say St. Peter, meet you, sage. They say St. Paul, meet you, sage. 
They say, Saint Mary, meet you, Saint me. I said, Me. It will change your name today. No more guilt, no more condemnation, no more bondage. Freedom. 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 You're free tonight in Jesus' name. Look at verse 28. And he said, Thy name shall be no more called Jacob, but Israel. And I prophesy into your life tonight, your name shall no more be called sinner, but saint. And I'm pronouncing the word of God upon your life tonight. Your life will no more be called failure, but success. I pronounce it upon your life tonight. Your name is no more Mr. Mrs. Downtrodden, but your name becomes the man on the mountaintop. The woman on the mountaintop. For as a prince, look at that, look at that. When you stand up tonight, after the Lord has changed you and transformed you, then you stand up as a prince. I'm talking to somebody. As a prince, as a prince, it says, as a prince, as thou power with God, power with God, there is a connection now. Jesus is making the connection on your behalf, and you have power with God, and you have power with men. And no man will walk over you. No man will stand in your way. No man will disorganize your life. And no man will ruin your life anymore. The moment you give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. And you say here is my heart. Here is my life. I offer everything to you. He will take you and mold you and remold you. And then there is connection. I said there is connection. And then you have power with God. Anything you ask God because you have power with God. He will answer you. And you have power with me. All the people, all the places you have been going, you ask for this, they say no. You ask for that, they say no. And you say, hey, nobody ever says yes to me. But you know, tonight, you have power with me. They will say yes to you. I said they will say yes to you. And thou hast prevailed. Thou hast overcome. Thou hast conquered. Christ never rejects anyone who comes. Father, we thank you for your spirit that has spoken to every heart. Thank you for the call, call to salvation, call to forgiveness, call to repentance. Thank you, Lord, because your compassion will not fail. I pray for all these who are standing, those who are by themselves, those who are before the screen, those who are before the telephone, and those who are connected now, and they want the mercy, they want the compassion, they want the salvation of the Lord. Give them the assurance of salvation in Jesus' name. Break the power of sin from their lives. Weaken the pool of temptation and sin from their lives in Jesus' name. Let your spirit bear witness in their hearts that they are now children of God. Let heaven rejoice because of everyone. Let the joy bells ring in every heart too. We thank you, Lord, because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Raise up that hand and lay the other hand where you have the problem. And that thing, sickness, pain, whatever, everything will vanish out of your body. Father, in Jesus' name. 
We thank you, Lord, because of what you are able to do and what you plan to do and what you have promised you are going to do. We ask, oh Lord, that you touch every life right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Manifest your power. Amen. Manifest your authority. Manifest your dominion over sickness, over Satan, over every evil thing in Jesus' name. Amen. And I pray, Lord, where there is sickness, there will be health. Where there's any damage, you bring repair to every part of their lives, every part of their body, right now, in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray you knock off the hand of Satan out of everyone's body, everyone's life, everyone's family right now, in Jesus' name. Over here, over the radio, over the television, anywhere and everywhere, online, in every location right now, manifest your power and destroy the works of the devil. Lord, I pray those blind eyes, open them now in Jesus' name. Deaf and don't make them to hear, make them to speak in Jesus' name. And those who are paralyzed or having arthritis or any kind of a problem, impediment in their motion, in their walking, let your power come to them now. Heal them in Jesus' name. I pray for every swelling, whether it's cancer or whatever, remove it right now. Heal them in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray that every kind of a problem or pain or sickness, whatever the name may be, they will bow under the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Dominion everywhere. Healing everywhere. Deliverance everywhere. Miracle everywhere for everyone. I pray, Lord, to the left, to the right, to the center, to the back, and everywhere, confirm miraculous healing right now. Thank you, Lord, because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. And for all you're going to do, we give you thanks and we lift our praise to you. And we give thanks, we give praise, for we know that all things work together for our good. We give thanks, we give praise, for by faith we know your grace will see us through. We give thanks, we give thanks, we give praise, for we know that all things work together for our good. We give thanks, we give praise, for by faith we know your grace will see us through. For all those things that we don't understand, we come by faith. And we place them in your hand. And we give thanks, we give praise, for we know that all things work together for our good. We give thanks, we give praise, for by faith we know your grace. Thank you for joining us for another episode of GCK Daily, the global crusade with Kumi. We believe that you've experienced Christ's surpassing love for you and his willingness to guide you, bless you, and be with you all the days of your life. He's a friend that sticketh closer than a brother, and you can always depend on him. We are really excited to further connect with you and your family. 
The easiest way to communicate with us is through our online connection card at gckhq.org slash cwc. While there, you can leave us a message about any needs you may have, grab helpful resources to help you with your next steps in your journey with Christ, and please let us know how we can pray for you. We love you. God loves you. We can't wait to meet you at our next Global Crusade.